my beautiful third self-built guitar. I designed uh, one of these in 2010, I believe, and I built it. And I enjoyed uh, that guitar, the outcome of it, and the process of making it so much that I decided to make a few more. And this is one of the later ones. And it features a pine body because I found a pine, I found a pine table somewhere near my house. And uh, I cut four of these bodies out of it. And it's an eBay ordered neck. I forgot the seller. Um, but it was really chunky, so I really uh, took it down. It's super, super thin now. And it's got cool tuners because I like that shit. I actually had to buy two sets because they came with three aside. So for the odd headstock shape, I had to get two sets. This is by far the most beautiful one. It has this great. I like the shade of blue, the metallic light blue. And it's slightly getting battered, unfortunately, but then again. It's also part of the charm. It's got the gold hardware and the fancy knobs, and I really am a sucker for it. pimped up that, that stuff, you know. All the gold and the glitter. And the fancy inlays as well. The design features behind this model were to have an easy, usable and comfortable feeling instrument. So it has like the strat shape, so it will be balanced, right? Because this is near the 20 or the 12th fret. Uh, I got great access to the 24th. It has the baffled edges so I can get the contour here quite nice. But also, not that it's just like flattened out, but it's got all yeah, nice looking. It's more like a, like a hole, if you will. And then it's got a float rose for all the trickery. <clears throat> and it's got two humbuckers. And this one has the push pull, so I can get the inside coils as well. And it has the the, the volume knob feature, and I can turn it up really light with a heavy distorted. So this is quite heavily distorted and if I pull it down I can get some really sparkly clean tones out of it. Especially when I coil tap it. pleasure to play. It sounds quite nice, although I wonder what it would sound like if I put the marchers in it instead of the Wilkinsons. Uh, the tram, that's a bust. It, um, it's one of those trams where you don't have to cut off the ball ends and they go in there, but they're a bitch to get out, so that's kind of sucky and it doesn't really stay in tune very well, so I might put a back box in it. And see what that solves, but until then, I have used it live and it's been yeah, fair, fairly well in tune. <laughs> Not perfect, and I've used it in studio, and that's really fun. Uh, it's been on the, the big shift on most fuzz solos. This pickup works really well with the fuzz, and I just enjoy playing it. Thank you. 